Welcome back to the Yuan Combat channel. So today we're actually going to be working with Puno Rolls. So some of you guys probably have seen our Puno Roll drills. And for the most part, they're always, you know, similar drills. For the most part, we've actually used the Puno Rolls for defensive purposes, for the most part. So overall, if you guys see a lot of the videos that we have on our channel, when we guys when we are utilizing pool noodles and of course you guys see us you know working some type of head movement some ducking some slipping but today we're actually going to be working another i feel that is very important aspect of boxing which is rhythm timing and accuracy because all of these kind of give you guys an idea or kind of you know give you guys the ability to counter punch or to see what your opponent's going to throw or just to be able to kind of react to whatever movement your opposition is about to do or is pretending to do so these are very important drills to utilize and like I mentioned you guys are just going to be using utilizing pool noodles so these shouldn't be really too hard to get a hold of and at the same time they're very easy drills to follow so hopefully you guys enjoy these few drills also before we jump into the, to these drills I just want to tell you guys that we actually have moved our KO breakdown series onto our website so if you guys haven't gone to our website go check it out you want combat.com sign up for free all the videos are free and those videos you guys are probably never ever going to see them on YouTube so make sure you guys sign up but for the first drill it's a very simple one and at the same time you guys also have to be aware as a coach what exactly it is that you're doing what you guys are going to want to do is of course hold these pool noodles like this and you guys are going to open them up you guys are going to open them and close them open close, open close all right guys so we're going to pretend like this is like sort of like a guard right and what your trainee is, is going to want to try to do is of course try to slip a punch in there and at the same time make sure that he throws the punch fast and at the same time brings his punt he brings his hand back into a guard position so overall this is just sort of like looking looking for openings on your opposition because you know although yeah some oppositions are going to have a tight guard you know when there's the, when there's an opportunity to throw a punch or throw a strike and be able to land efficiently then of course that's when you guys want to take advantage but of course you know just like when your opponent just like when you're throwing punches your your opponent's going to throw punches and of course bring their hands or we hope we we hope that they don't bring back their hands to the guard but overall you know this is just about open like finding that rhythm and the timing to see when your opponent opens up and for you to be able to, to land a strike of your own you guys kind of want to have it at an angle you know at an angle like this and also at an angle in which you guys don't compromise your trainee's form so i want to have it you know pretty high up here just so you know he could have his chin tucked under that shoulder when he throws you know these straight punches so overall you know you guys could go with left left with a you guys could go with a jab or you guys could go with a cross or you guys could even go with some combinations to try to, you know, try to, you know, test your hand speed and throw a combination while the, you know, pool noodles are open. But just for the sake of this video, since it's more, it's targeted towards beginners, uh, we want you guys that to just simply throw the jab, right? So you guys are gonna open, close, right? And he has to time. He has to time and throw the jab, right? For the second and third drill, they're pretty similar drills. There's just gonna be a bit of a difference and overall you guys will just need one pool noodle. And once again, it's not a very complicated one, but of course when you guys are doing it, one drill might be a little bit harder than the other. For the first drill, it's quite simple. So all you want is your trainee to, you know, face the bag. So he faces the bag in his stance. And you, of course, as the coach, has, will all have the pool noodle going up and down. I'm gonna just try to stay somewhere here in the middle. And him, his goal for this second drill is just to either strike over the punuro or under the punuro. The goal for this third drill kind of changes. So unlike the second, the second drill where your goal was to hit over or under the punuro, this time. The goal is to actually hit the puno itself. As you guys could tell, the third drill is a little bit more hard, harder than the second drill, in my honest opinion. What do you think? Yeah, it's apparent. Yeah, it's it's different because of the mere fact that now you have a specific target that you guys have to hit, so you guys have to really be more accurate, right? Instead of like the heavy bag, which you you guys could hit like anywhere on the top surface and the bottom surface as the pool is going up, up or down. So for the for this third drill, of course you gotta be a little bit more accurate. You gotta be able to read the pace, read the tempo in which you know the pool is moving. So overall, you know, these are very simple these are simple drills that you guys could actually 
I'll replicate at home. Overall, all you guys will need is, of course, you know, two pool noodles, ideally. But if you guys just have a heavy bag and just one pool noodle at your disposal, then of course you guys could do two drills. So it's not really a big problem. Very basic, and of course, you know, has a lot of different little aspects of boxing that you guys could actually work. So overall. This will be the end of this video. If you guys have any questions, comments, suggestions, leave that in the com in the comment section of this video. And don't forget to follow us on our personal Instagrams or our team Instagrams. And of course, like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, go sign up to our website. So that pretty much will be it. Thank you guys.